Hello and good evening. My name is John. We're here playing Frog Detective 2, The Case of the Invisible Wizard. It's part of my Steam Cleaning series where every game my Steam library eventually the arbitrarily rate and review them we play playtime. I don't quite know what the game is, but it gives out at random. So why don't we hop in, get it, and find out together. Now I did put the first Frog Detective and I enjoyed it overall. And I remember this. I want to take my main assignment. Fraud Detective Crime Solving Agency. Fraud Detective speaking. Hi, Detective. <coughs> supervisor. Hi, Supervisor. Why did you hang up on me? Huh? We were talking just a moment ago about a new case. The one with the Warlock Woods, right? Yeah. I helped because I got too excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. What can you tell about this new case? It's a doozy, Detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Sorry. Right. Anyway, Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't get many visitors around there. A couple of days ago, new residents moved in. A shy gal doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyway, she settles into the new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organize a welcoming parade. Great idea. Absolutely. But some in the town seem to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. What? I know, right? So rude. No one has any leads on this case. They don't know who done it. That's where you come in, detective. That's me. I'm the detective. I'm aware. Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. Too easy. You'll need to question everyone to get to the bottom of things. Think you can solve this mystery? Hmm. Yep. Great. Hop on it. Hop to it. Ha ha. Oh, I forgot to mention. New resident of the woods is... Special. She's... Invisible. Ah, that would that was loud. And a wizard. Oh no. An invisible wizard. Cool. Uh what's the relevance for being invisible? No one knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade and the decorations and the celebrations. They want her to be uninvisible. Be invisible. Uh visible. Exactly. Anyway, do you have anything you need? Um I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass. Of course. It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, you will to solve the mystery. Thanks, Supervisor. Good luck, Detective. I don't remember that one. I remember that one. Ah, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Well, maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. Got magnifying glass. Very reminiscent of the first game's intro. Oh, that's disorientating. Oh no, it's Lobster Cop. I think, right? Yes, Lobster Cop. Wait, lobsters don't have legs. I mean, that kind of legs. Are they my roommate? Ah, it's the famous fraud detective. Famous? I'm not famous. Ah, perhaps not, but I'm sure he will be soon. Wow, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? Uh, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door, right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. Nope, that's my office. I'm putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I'm in there working every time you do it. I even say, this is my office. And then you say, sure, as a little cleaning frog. And I say, I'm a crime-solving frog, not a cleaning frog. But usually you're gone already. Excuse me, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mysteries. Sometimes I get to be polite. If I was polite all the time, I would never have time to solve my crimes. I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, lobster cop. Perhaps, but detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. I can give you some tips if you'd like. Wow, yes, please. Tip number one, pay attention. Make sure you're looking at things and paying attention to the words. Yes, quite right. Tip number two, everyone is a suspect. Even you. I will suspect myself much more from now on. Good call. Tip number three, carry a notebook. Oh, I'm not really big on books. They are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Fact, don't be foolish. Book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you are writing facts. Suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook, though. Well... It's your lucky day. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use all use it all you like. Wow, really? Yep. 
And there are stickers you can use too. I bought them with all my crime solving money. Cool. I'll let you get to it, detective. Head into my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay, thanks, Lobster Cop. Hmm, which stickers should I pick and where should they go? I want to make it smaller. I'm done. Good book. Yep. Got a notebook. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Lobster Cop. How's your book decoration coming along? Is it right there on the desk, you know? I know, just taking my time is all. Well, I haven't got all day. Just kidding, I do have all day. Take as long as you need. No, I'm, I'm done. All right, well, bye. Time to solve another mystery. Oh, uh, the wheels didn't stop. Super Hot, Super Hot presents a game by Worm Club. With the assistance from Film Victoria. Warlock Woods. Starring the detective. Susan. Ralph. Mandy. Mary. And several more characters. Broad Detective 2, The Case of the Invisible Wizard. Grace Bruxner and Thomas Bowker? Hello. Oh, my stars. It's you. It's me, a famous lobster cop. I really thought you'd be a lobster. Uh, no, I'm a frog. I'm a frog. Yeah, why is your name lobster cop? I have to tell you something. I'm not lobster cop. Why not? I don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I'm the detective. Oh, uh, a frog detective. I see. Was lobster cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency, which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Oh, I don't know that was how it worked. You should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me, though. To remove all doubt. Okay. Question me all you like. What about the wizard? You know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here, at least. Not me. Right. Well, I had a lot to do with the organization of the parade, and I was the one who started the investigation. You mentioned that. It's worth bringing it up again. So you were fine with her moving to town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years. It's really nice that someone wants to live there. It needs a lot of fixing up, but I'll, it'll look nice soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbor. Sure is. I put up a sign made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. I feel very sad about it, if I'm honest. I know you're solved the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. You can talk to me about it. 
Oh my god, look at that bug back there. Thank you. Not a professional sign maker yet, but I worked really hard on the sign. Really, I struggled to understand why someone would knock it down. I feel so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. But I were here would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. It's a tricky situation, for sure. Some people are protective of their communities, and new people are going to change things for the worse. But that's almost never the case. New people make the place better because they bring new perspective, especially in small communities. Hopefully just a misunderstanding or a mistake. Hopefully people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. But not me, right? Even you. Especially you. Especially me. Oh, no. Sorry, not sure why I said that. But you're not off the hook just yet. Hook. That's it. Detective, could you please find me a hook? I could hang the sign back up with it. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Watch me all you like. About last night? Where were you on the night in question? The home knitting a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yeah, I picked all the colors myself. And everything. Though I'd admit it's a bit hard to focus on knitting. Why is that? I get so distracted by the wool. It's so fun to play with. I play with it so much that I unravel the whole thing and it goes everywhere. Big nuisance. I understand. But I was concentrating on the knitting so much that I didn't notice the structure of the parade. I'm sorry. You didn't notice anything at all? Hmm. Now that I think of it, I saw a big van out near the entrance of the Warlock Woods. If it didn't drive in or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it at the time, of course. That's all I remember. Sorry. No worries. Question me all you like. We're done. Motive. Something to fix her sign. Since she's not suspicious, makes much more <laughs> upset of being prey destroyed. Work really hard on her sign. Saw a van. This is a lot more detailed than. Hi, spider. Nothing? Your house is a one room. I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to for it now. Got a pie! One lost pie. Uh, are you okay? So if I remember the first game... Hello, is anyone home? It sounds like someone's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. I'll come back another time. I remember from the first game... Oh, it's the Invisible Wizard. You're right there, I see you. Um... You, uh... Remember for the first game, you, you do a lot of item trading. I lost pie. I got a pie! Two lost pies. All right, three lost pies. And it turns into like a trading. Um, a trading chain where like you get one item and then that gets another item and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Hi. Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Are you sure? You can hear me all at this volume? Yes. Weird. I'm the detective. I'm here to solve this mystery. Really? Yes. But you're so small. I'm of average frog height. Hmm. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Question me, huh? About the wizard. I have people the wizard moving in. Hmm. Hmm? Nothing against the wizard, wizard, but... I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now, and our space is big. But I would really like my own home. Oh. Been eyeing that old house for ages. Thought maybe I'd move in one day. But the wizard got there first. I see. It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold against the wizard. Hmm. This house is quite as big as all the other houses. Maybe you could renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs, one house downstairs. Like an apartment. It's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. I don't have anything to renovate. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm. 
I'll see if I can track some down for you. Thanks for your help, detective. Maybe I could do a good job looking at my own building show. I'm excited to see it. Question me, huh? What about your eye? Why well, may, may I ask why you have an eye patch on? That's Ralph's business. Oh, it'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. That shouldn't be make me suspicious. Put it on for fashion? Kind of. Detective, I don't want to get into this too much. But I watched the movie last night about pirates, and I loved it. And there's another three left. Three whole movies. Can you believe it? Sequels? I've never heard a movie having sequels before. I know, right? Usually sequels are reserved for video games. Yes, it's extremely normal to have a video game sequel, especially for games with large audiences like Toad Investigation Series. Yeah, anyway, I was watching a pirate movie last night, and that's where I was. For that reason, I decided to wear an eye patch. Okay, I'll leave it at that. My thanks. Question me, huh? All right, we've got Ralph. Building supplies. Notes, loves pirates, cosmetic eye patch, private boy, wants to renovate. Thinks I am too small, I am not. Victor, hi! Hello. Wanna hop in? A little bit, but I'm on a case. Oh, cool. I'm Victor. Who are you? The detective. Is that your real name? Maybe. Cool, cool. Are you here to question me and stuff? Because, like, I'm not suspicious. How do you know you're not suspicious? Well, I think I didn't do it. You think? Yeah, no one knows anything for certain these days. So why are you here swimming? I'm visiting my friend Nadi. Oh, she's the only person I know with a hot tub. Plus, I heard there are going to be these delicious pies for the parades. The time is perfect. Where do you live normally? Over next, over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot. I was thinking of taking a holiday there at some point. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Um, so anyway, can I ask you some questions about the case? Yeah, whatever. Questions? About the wizard. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you know much about the invisible wizard before you came here? Yeah, not really. I knew the parade was for her, but beyond that, I don't know a lot. And knowing that they never throw a parade for me coming to visit. Huh? I'm super cool. Have you been here before? So many times. The first time they even threw me a parade. What? Huh? Okay. Take the parade thing back. Just pretend I didn't say that. Sure. Detective, I'm really bored of this conversation. I'm sorry if that's rude, but I have a new policy of being honest with people. Were you dishonest before? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't tell people when they were boring me. I don't think that counts as being dishonest. So what am I supposed to do when people are boring? I'm not sure, but probably don't tell them. It would hurt their feelings. I didn't hurt your feelings, though, did I? Well, I have to admit I was a bit hurt. I have a very exciting job, and I'm a fraud, and I solve mysteries. I don't think I'm being I'm boring at all. Sure, but I've seen heaps of frogs before. Plus, I've solved my fair share of crimes. What crimes? This one. Huh? You solved the crime already? Yeah. Ralph did it. How do you know? Uh, good point. I haven't decided that bit yet. But it seems likely he did it. What was his motive? His what? Uh, motive. The reason for destroying the parade. Oh, um, I think it's because he has an eye patch on. I don't think that's a real motive. That doesn't make any sense. Now, who's the rude one? This conversation doesn't go anywhere. Neither are you, apparently. Not until I solve this mystery. I'm sorry for being rude, detective. I mean it. Just get so grumpy when I'm hungry. Why don't you eat something? You get out of the hot tub? No, I must continue to soak. You could ask someone to get you something to eat. Like who? There's no one here. I am here. Right. There I go, being rude again. If you happen to find food, I would love to have some. In the meantime, I would like to apologize for being so rude. Please take one money as an apology. I got a money. Questions? Hello, Victor. I have a pie for you. Detective, where did you find this pie? I found it on the ground. Sorry, Detective. You have to speak up. These hot tub jets are mighty loud. I found this pie on the ground over there. Detective, I do not want to eat a ground pie. I have made a mistake. I'll say maybe even two. Two mistakes. Yes, one mistake for giving me a dirty pie, another for mistake. And another mistake for giving me a pie. Does not belong to you. That's right, Detective. Though I'm visiting from out of town, I know this is one of Mandy's pies. They are delicious. If you just happen to find it on the ground, it cannot be yours away, so I cannot accept it. You're right, Victor. I have made two mistakes. I am sorry, and I am, and I am sorry. That's okay, Detective, but I'll be watching you. You should return this pie to Mandy. Okay, I'll do that. 
one money. Hasn't eaten, could probably be jealous of raid. Something to eat. Rude. Hungry. Rude in general. Doesn't live here. I want to visit Pumpkin. But... Uh, about last night. Where were you when the parade was destroyed? Well, I've been swimming all day in Navi's hot tub, so I was super wrinkly. Yep. And it was hard for me to get inside the house because of my wrinkly hooves. Uh-huh. I waited for about half an hour for the wrinkles to de-wrinkle. Yep. And then I went inside Nobby's house and snoozed on the couch all night. What time was that? All night. No, I mean, what time did you get back into Nobby's house? Before the parade was destroyed. It wasn't me. Probably wasn't me, I mean. Can't be sure. But 90% probably it wasn't me. Questions? All right. Who was that? Oh, there was someone back there. You can't go in there yet. All right. The detective, right? I'm Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Be careful where you step, detective. There's mess everywhere. I'm used to mess. Lucky you. I'm not. My shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Detective, are you joking? I can't wear flats with this look. The proportions would be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. Oh? I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most of are just fans of, of the spooky, which is fine and all, but it means a lot of the cleaning work will be mine to do. I should never learn that tidy up spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean this up, mess up. But first I need to find all my pies. What happened to your pies? Same thing happens to everywhere. Someone thought it'd be funny to knock them all over. So annoying. I spent ages making them. Ah, I see. Well, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Tell me what you want to know. About your pies. You need help finding your pies? Yes. Detective, seriously. I seriously need help. Straight up, I can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark, it's unreal. I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Do you think I look amazing? Yep. My thanks, I do too. Worst purchase ever made in terms of practicality, but it brings a look to a new level. Maybe a dingus, but I'm very stylish dingus. Okay. What were we talking about? My, my outfit. No, before that. Pies. Right. You offered to help pick up my pies. Missing quite a few. If you could bring them to me, I'll be happy to clean them all up and give you one as payment. Okay, sounds like fun. Neat. Thanks, detective. Tell me what you want. Give item pies. Mandy, detective. I found some of your pies. Wonderful. Now there's only two left. I'll hop to it. Needs her five pies. Real witch spooky. Uh, about last night. Where were we last night? Doing heaps of push-ups and getting ripped. Alright, just kidding. I was on whizbay.net, where magic happens, TM. What were you doing? Bidding on some new shoes. But you just got these ones. Yeah, but the ones I was bidding on would go super well with the blue dress I have. Wow, cool. I know. I didn't win, though. Who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is their screen name. Someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109 Sorry to hear it. How did you feel when you lost? A bit defeated. I went for a midnight stroll to cool off. But then, I saw someone in the distance. It was a pretty fog foggy night, so I couldn't see much, but they were carrying a large box. I couldn't see what they looked like, but they definitely weren't from here. I, it felt like they were waiting for someone. I didn't think too much of it, and I went home. Hmm. Did you hear any noise after that? No, my house is soundproof. Ever since Mandy has taken up singing, a kind of necessity around here. Mary. I only saw the mess in the morning. Interesting. Tell me what you'd like to know. Alright. Upset. Whiz Bay bidding for shoes. We need to find two more pies. 
Well, there's one. The Lost Pie. One pie. Lost pie! We got all the pies now. Now we can start making some forward progress. Found all your pies! Wow, all of them? I think so. Yeah, that looks like all of them. Woo. You must have searched in far and wide. Search the general vicinity, yes. Wow, we. Thanks, detective. As promised, here's one money. I don't think you've ever promised payment, but thank you anyway. You're welcome. Oh, I'll give you a pie, too. They're delicious. Not very hungry. You can hold on if you like. Nonsense. Take one and eat it later when you're hungry. Okay, sure. Thanks. You can have my pies. All right, I got a clean pie. Done. Amazing baker. Questions. Give pie. Are you still hungry? Yes, very. It's making me really rude. For example, I think your jumper is outdated. Victor, I'm not the most fashionable frog in the world, but I like this jumper. It's my favorite. You're right. It's retro, not outdated. I'm simply very hungry. I have a pie for you from Mandy. It's not from the ground. Nope. Mandy gave me this fresh one. Seriously? Score. Yep. Please enjoy. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. I feel much less rude now. Really? Yep. You have beautiful eyes. Oh wow, thank you. It's true, and I think that color jumper suits you perfectly. You're making me blush. I should give you something in return for this pie. Hmm. I have a spare party hat I'm using. Maybe that could, you could wear it? Alas, my head is too simply too weird a shape. Well, hold on to it anyway. It might come in handy. Thanks. As far as I know, no one wants a party hat. I need a hook and building supplies. Done. I want to get behind here. All right. Mary, la, ooh, la, la, la. Hello? Hello, frog. Hello, what's your name? I'm Mary, nice to meet you. You too, do you like my song? Hmm, yep, I've been practicing all day and all night. Wow, are you okay? I'm tired. Huh, maybe you should get some sleep. Maybe. You sing very loudly. Yep, I'm um, why everybody's soundproof their houses. That sounds expensive. Yeah, but that's not really my problem. I think I sound very good, even late at night. How late? I love to sing at 3 a.m. Wow, that's when my energy is the highest. Doesn't sound very healthy. Health is my business. Oh yes, that's true. Sorry. That's okay. Maybe I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Whisper, whisper, welcome to my hair salon. Snip, snip. That'll be 100 money. Just joking. Anyway, who are you? I'm the detective. Ooh, cool. Can I? Can you question me? Do you mind if I ask? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, boy, I love questions. Uh, about the wizard? We know about the wizard that moved in. Aha. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't actually hear you. Oh, I was asking about the wizard. Oh, yeah, there's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? I'm a detective. Right. It's part of my questioning, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, so I didn't do any crimes or anything. I have the right to remain silent. Yeah, but do you want to remain silent? Ha, huh, literally never. So like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood last night. Frey was destroyed. And I heard that Navi like attacked the wizard one time. And that's all, actually. Was that making me a snitch? I think so. Rats. Oh boy, I love questions. About last night. What were you doing when the parade was destroyed? Oh boy, yeah. Sucks that parade was destroyed. Oh, we're doing questioning. What was I doing? Not much, just singing outside. You were outside when the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. 
What did you see? Detective, have you heard of extortion? Yes. That's great news. Is it? Detective, I would like to extort you. I don't think that's legal. I'm above the law. Oh, why are you starting me? I would like five monies for a train ticket. I don't have any money. Well, you best get some soon. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggywood and become a star. Oh, that sounds exciting. I know, right? Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have any uh, have any other ways to get there. I figure if you get the money for me, I can finally go and live my dream. Blah. What will you give me in exchange? Information. What kind of information? A phone number. Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is that they were in the vicinity when the prey was destroyed. I don't think I'll be able to solve the case without the phone number. Hence the extortion. Sorry. It's okay. We all get extorted every now and then. Yeah. Anyway, come back when you have money. Oh boy, I love questions. All right. I don't trust this rhino. Needs five money. What a thrill. Uh, this person on the stage. Navi. What? Huh? Who are you? The detective. Oh. I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Huh? What? Did you say something about Lobster Cop? No. But I heard... And this probably read my mind. Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Whoa. Is this what tele telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wow, this frog has a temper. Anyway, who are you? I'm Nobby. Okay. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Okay. Was it you who asked me to come? No. I would have asked for a lobster cop. I really need to emphasize that I can hear you. Stop listening. Okay. Can I ask you a question about the case? I guess so. Tell me what you want to know. About last night. What can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh, but I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about the powder. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Uh-huh. And she's invisible. Great. And she just moved in. Yep. And... She's a wizard. I think you mentioned that. No, I don't think I did. Right. Okay. Sorry. That's fine. Anyway, tell me what you want to know. About the wizard? How do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Uh... Oh, heck. How do I answer this? Huh? Well, I'm happy she's here, but... That house has been empty for ages. I didn't know she was coming, right? No one told me, you see. Aren't you the mayor? I think so. Anyway, I kind of came at a weird time of night, and I, well, I thought that she was a ghost. Oh. Yeah, it was a bit messy. Oh. I tried to vacuum her up. Oh. With the vacuum. I put down this high setting. Just really went to town with the vacuum. I think it really freaked her out. And now she won't come out of the house. Um, please don't put it, me in jail. You're not going to jail. Jail isn't real. But you... <laughs> But you probably should apologize. Okay, sorry, detective. I mean to the wizard. Right, yeah. That's why I was helping her with the parade. To apologize. But she hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. I see. This makes me sound really bad. I swear, I, w I wanted the parade to be lovely. And as the mayor of town, I booked a live band to play a song. But as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way, and I have no time to fix it. They're a very famous band. I want to be as professional as possible. If only I had a rug or something to use, I could cover up this mess. But the town is in disarray. I don't have time to track one down. Oh no. Thank you for your concern. If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. Will do. Do you have any more questions? Um, how much you want to know? I think that's everybody, except for the shopkeep. And the, and the invisible wizard. I gotta talk to that wizard. The mayor? I don't trust that bug there. Carlos, a customer. Welcome to the Carlos All Things You Could Need shop. Are you Carlos? Yes, just like the name of the shop. That's me. Aha, how cool is that? The shop has many has my name in it. So cool. My company has also my name in it. What's your company called? Fraud Detective Crime Solving Agency? What's your name? Crime? Oh no, I'm the Fraud Detective. 
That's not really a name, though. More of a title. Oh, I suppose you're right. My shop actually has my name in it. Cool. I'm jealous. Thanks. Here in Warlock Woods, we all we are all our own biggest fans. Being conceited is a social construct. We ever, we ever rejected it. Hence why my shop is so popular. I sell portraits, among other things. Wow, that's great. My office, is na office neighbor is Lobster Cop. It's a picture of himself right above his desk. You know Lobster Cop? Yep. Holy heck. I've been a fan forever. You know he saw the mystery of the haunted island recently. Oh, um, I don't think it was actually me that solved it. Wait, really? It was all over the TV. The dance competition had a lobster in it. Oh, you must be thinking of Larry. You mean small Larry? No, this is regular sized lobster. Uh, no. Larry is a regular sized lobster. Not the Larry I know. Oh, well. Agree to disagree. I really did solve the mystery. It was me, the detective. Uh, that's really cool. Thanks. So you're like the second best detective, I suppose? Yeah. Do you mind if I ask some questions? Okay. What would you like to know? The night in question. Where were you last night? Just here in my shop. What about when you closed up? My shop doesn't close. 24 hours. What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4 a.m.? And you're open all the time? Sure am. Of course. I sleep and eat and look after myself. My customers simply wake me up if they need to buy anything. Where do you sleep? I sleep standing up. Years of training. I'm the most committed shopkeeper in all the Warlock Woods. Also, the only shopkeeper in all the Warlock Woods. You ever take breaks? Hmm, sometimes, but I really like it here in my shop. It's where I feel the most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take so much joy from my work. Me too. Although, I must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you need a break. Okay, I promise. Anyway, did you see anything last night? Nothing particularly interesting. Why? Uh, the crime. Huh? I think I need to question you a bit more. Go for it. What would I to know? The wizard. What do you know about the new wizard that just moved in? Uh, who? The invisible wizard that moved in literally next door. Wait, really? Someone moved in? Yeah. The place was empty for ages. I gotta say hi. Well, the parade was meant to be first saying hi. Parade? Parade that everyone's been prepping for. Wow, how nice. Can't wait. It was destroyed last night. What? This conversation is a roller coaster information. I have literally no idea what's happening. You weren't involved in the decorations at all? Nope. Should I offer to help now? Wait, who is the parade for again? Is it for me? No, it's for the invisible wizard. She just moved in next door. Right, okay. Uh... Oh dear. Party hats. Pardon? Every time we throw a parade, everyone has a party hats to wear. Mine was ruined the last parade. I've been too busy working in my shop to buy a new one. Oh no. How embarrassing. I can't show up to the parade without one. Do you ever think it's too late to order one online? It'll be tight. You're right. Uh, what should I do? Don't stress. I'll track one down for you before the parade starts. Oh my gosh, thank you, detective. In the meantime, I'll figure out a way to repay you. Fortunately, I don't have any frog portraits just yet. Not a problem. What would you like to know? Here's your party hat. Carlos, I have something for you. No way. It's a party hat. No way. Yes way. That's epic. That's honestly the most epic thing I've ever heard all day. Thanks, detective. Not a problem. Incorrect. It was a problem. And you solved it. Just like a true detective. Aw, oh, thanks. You made a fan out of me. Here, let me pay you for your work. Oh, no. That's okay. Detective, I insist you take payment. One money should do it. Thanks. Oh, I also found this rug out back. Not sure what it is, but I figured you're good at solving type of puzzles. All right, we're unraveling this this trade-a-thon. I'll find a use for it. Thanks. That's luck solving mystery, detective. Three money. No party hat. One rug. Carlos. Busy boy. All right. No, oh, no. Hold on. Here's your rug. What is it? I found you a rug. What? Holy guacamole, this is great news. Thanks for the tracking it down. It should do the trick. Wow, it looks just like new. Hopefully the band won't notice the mess. I don't think they will. They're in a fish tank anyway. Why? One guess. They're fish? Bingo. Wait, you mean to tell me you got the most famous band of all time? The Market Buddies? Yep, they're on their way. Wow, I saw them live once and I was blown away. I can't wait. I'm excited too. I can't wait for the parade to begin. 
I better get back to work so I can solve this mystery before the parade starts. Before you go, I should give you something in return. Oh, I have some building supplies left over from when I made the stage. Is that enough? Sure, thank you. Plus one money. Oh no, that's okay. It was simply a favor. Don't be silly. You worked hard to get this rug. I insist. Wow, thanks. One money! I'm incredibly close. Done. Long snoot. I was really close. Uh, here's your building supplies. Hi, Rel. Hello, small frog. I managed to write down some building supplies for you. Oh, great. What exciting news. I'd love to use them if you're okay handing them over. Of course. That's a fast upgrade. Excellent. Thank you so much. Of course, I must pay you for this. Oh, there's no need, really. Shush. I won't hear it. Please take the money. That's five money. We're in it now. Thank you. Also, I think you've earned yourself the title of Honorary Pirate. Wow. Really? Me, a pirate? Oh, I get a hook? Do I get a hook? The treasure collecting skills of the finest pirate. For this, I must award you a special prize. Here, take this hook. All right, we're in it now. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving. Wow, what do I do with this? Use it on your hand if you want, or you can use it for something else. I'm not your dad. Not yet. Sorry, I don't really know why I said that. All good, enjoy the hook. Five money. Done. I'm back. You're back. Yep. Found you a hook. Oh, my stars. Thank you. I can fix my sign right away. That's okay. Wow. I would like to repay you for this hook. No, that's okay. I got it for free. Nothing is free in this world. Just kidding. Our society is really progressive, and often things are actually free. As a sign of my gratitude, please feel free to use my house whenever you need. Okay. It's fairly simple, but beautiful. Decorated, at least. I have, one, I have a phone, too. Great. I'll be sure to use it at some point. Thank you, Susan. This is a very simple house. All right, we should be wrapping up pretty soon. I love questions. Five up my five minus. Hi, Mary. Hey, detective. How's the extortion going? I think I got your five money. Whoa, for real? I didn't think extortion would work so quickly. That's ex news. I'm really good at being extorted. I'll say. Anyway, do you have the information for me? Totally. Last night I saw the postman drop off a parcel. It was around the time the party got destroyed. I couldn't see who it was given to, but it was someone here in town. Barney is the postman's name. He's a chill dude. I don't think he might if you called him up. I have his number. May I have it? Absolutely. I got a phone number. Thank you for me this money. I'm really excited to visit Froggywood. I'm excited for you. Obviously, I have to wait until the parade is over. Of course. See you around, detective. No money. Phone number. Hmm, who should I call? Barney. Hi, it's Barney. I'll be on speaker. Hi, Barney. Hi. Who am I talking to? <coughs> hmm, lobster cop. Wow, really? No, I was tricking you. Rats. Who is this? Noodle? I'm the detective. I'm calling about the incident that happened last night at Warlock Woods. I didn't do it. Do what? Whatever you're calling about. It wasn't me. Are you sure? What did I do? Last night, someone destroyed a parade which was being set up for a new resident of the town, the Invisible Wizard. I was told you were in the area when it happened. Oh yeah, I was there. Didn't destroy anything, if that's what you're asking. I was just delivering a parcel. 
Who are we delivering it to? Uh, hmm. What was her name? Oh, Lola. I don't think there's anyone here in town called Lola. Must have been someone who lives there. The address on a parcel. So I can't remember exactly which house it was. Sorry. Huh. You remember where the parcel was sent from? Oh, yeah. Delivered a lot of parcels from them. It was from whizbay.net headquarters. That sounds really familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Uh, I know Mandy buys a lot of stuff from there. This wasn't for her. You know what was in the package? Some sort of shoe, I think. Maybe two? A pair of shoes? Did you get a look at them? It's pretty dark. I have no recollection of anything of seeing anyone. Not even a face. Huh, weird. Warlock Woods is pretty dark, but I haven't had that much trouble seeing anyone before. Me neither. It wasn't much more dark than normal, either. All I remember is a blue dress with stars on it. I'm pretty stumped in this case, Barney. Do you know if there was any clues left behind? A signature on the livery slip or something? Uh, I didn't get them to sign it. But I remember something dropping over the entrance of the woods. I tried to call out and tell them, but they were stumbled on it before I noticed. Entrance to the woods, you say? I'll check it out. Lola's the Invisible Wizard. Cool guy. Those were not there before. Must be the thing Barney was talking about. Their glasses. Oh, the name agreement on the arm. The Invisible Wizard. Oh, well, this is my only clue left. I think I should try to return these to the wizard. She should be in the old house near college shop. <laughs> Hello, is anyone home? I found these glasses. Oh, we're getting a load screen. Where could this wizard be? They're invisible. Oh my goodness. They don't want to be found. We're doing it. Ah, who's there? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. You're here to solve the mystery. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know where my glasses are, so solve that as soon as possible, please. Thanks in advance. I found your glasses, I think. Are these yours? Ah, I can see again. That was quick. You should get a promotion. I don't remember calling detective to solve this mystery, but I but I must have done. Otherwise, why would you be here, right? Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. I'm actually here to solve a different mystery. Which one? I don't mean to ruin the surprise, but the town was setting up a parade for you. I'm sorry to tell you that last night someone destroyed it. I've been trying to figure out why. However, I've noticed that your house is littered with decorations. Where were you last night? I was on the whiz bay. I got some new shoes. I picked express delivery. They arrived last night. Oh, you're Lola? Yes. Back in my, back to my alibi. I went to pick up my shoes and the delivery guy. And then I dropped my glasses. Oh. And that's all I have to say about that. Are you sure? Yeah, I think someone else must have destroyed the parade. Perhaps one of my enemies. You have enemies? Um, yeah. Who? The guy. Evil guy. Sorry, what? Enemy, evil guy. My enemy. Evil guy? Yeah. Are you making this up? No, evil dude is really my enemy. Don't you mean evil guy? Evil guy. Your enemy. Yes. 
Where can I contact evil guy? Oh, he's not able to con be contacted. He's very mysterious and not available right now. Or ever, even. Anyway, he must have destroyed the prey. Okay, Saul, we did it. Well done. Wow. Too bad he's not able to be apprehended, but at least we can continue with our lives. Lola, are you being dishonest? Yes. I'm really sorry. It was me. It was an accident, I swear. You destroyed the prey, didn't you? Wow. I didn't know the prey was for me. That's so nice. And then I ruined it. When I dropped my glasses, I couldn't find my way home. I was bumping into everything. What happened when you got home? I had some chips stuck on me, so I ate those. And then I just hid. Why didn't you tell anyone what happened? I'm so embarrassed about it. I only just moved in, and already I've made a big mistake. I'm very shy. I'm a very shy lady detective. I make myself invisible so no one can see me. That must have been why no one saw you last night. Yes, I suppose. Can you be not invisible? Uninvisible? Visible? If you insist. Ta-da! You're a frog, like me. Yes. I'm slightly disappointed. What? Well, it's just that I had a good joke prepared. I'll do it anyway. Okay, so imagine that instead of a frog, you were revealed to be a lizard. Oh no. Okay, so you'd be just revealed, okay? Pretend. Okay, it's me, a lizard. Wow, so you're not an invisible lizard. Invisible wizard, after all. You're an invisible lizard. Huh. Yeah, it was a good joke. I thought so. Detective, are you going to tell everyone? Hmm. I'm brand new and it was a mistake. I'm worried that if you tell everyone what I did, they would be upset. I think they'll forgive you right away. What if they don't? I want to make a good first impression. When we go outside, can you please tell them that it was an evil guy? That's a fib. A white lie, perhaps. But who is it harming, really? Evil guy. Evil guy isn't real. This is a moral dilemma, Lola. This is like my favorite episode of Paro. It's your choice, detective. Let's face the music. I'm gonna tell the truth. Let's tell the truth. It's the honorable thing to do. Hello. Hi. My name is Lola. Hi, Lola. I'm a frog. Just like me. We're so glad you could make it, Lola. I'm sorry that there's been so much commotion trying to get the parade ready for you. Someone destroyed it last night. Mary, don't tell her that. We're sorry someone destroyed it, Lola. The detective has been trying to figure out who did it. Well, detective, have you solved the mystery? I hope it wasn't me. I'd be surprised if it was any of us. I wouldn't. Looking at you, Ralph. What? Ralph didn't do it, Victor. How many times do we have to tell you? I don't trust that guy. Rude. I'm not rude anymore, Ralph. I had food. I don't think that's how it works. I didn't do it. Well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. Go ahead, detective. Lola did it. Well, I saw the mystery. Who was it? It was... Lola. What? It was an accident. Lola dropped her glasses last night while picking up some shoes she bought on Wizbay. Oh my gosh, those are the ones I really wanted. They look amazing. Lola can't see without her glasses, so she had a lot of trouble getting home last night. She bumped into just about everything. I'm so sorry, I feel awful. I realized what had happened when I had lost lots of chips stuck to me. I ate them. They were delicious. The prey was for me all along, and I didn't realize. Lola was very scared of your reaction, so she hid in her house out of shame. Oh, Lola, it's okay. You should have told us. We're com we completely understand. Yeah, Mary destroys stuff all the time. Yeah, I really do. Plus, no one tried to vacuum up, so I feel like the parade being destroyed is kind of fine. I thought she was a ghost. That's what they all say. Hee <laughs> hee. We're all really excited you're here, Lola. We don't need decorations anyway. I really thought Ralph did it. Victor. Victor, apologize to Ralph. Ralph, I'm sorry I accused you. It's okay. I'm also sorry. I really didn't mean to destroy the parade, but I should have spoken up when I did. I'm a very nervous lady. Plus, what a terrible first impression. Not as bad as my first impression. What did you do? I ran over Mary by accident. Haha, <laughs> yeah. That was real painful. Haha. Can we get this party started? What do you think, Lola? Yes, please. I think we did it. I think we solved it. I think we finished this mission. We did it! Um... A very simple and small game, uh, runtime just under an hour. I think it's cute. Um, it's exactly what you would expect it would be. 
because, you know, it's a sequel to the first game, which is kind of like this. Alrighty then. Well, this has been uh, Fraud Detective 2, Invisible Wizard. Um, I'm assuming that there'll be like a stinger at the end. Or like the third game. Like the, maybe, maybe not the third game. I don't know. I shouldn't assume that about Fraud Detectives. I don't know much about them. Whoa. I clicked off. Thanks for playing. My pleasure. Oh yes, there will be a final a final stinger. I got an achievement called Snitch. Fraud Detective Crime Solving Agency, Fraud Detective speaking, how may I solve your mystery? Detective, Supervisor, it's me, the Supervisor. I'm aware. Great job on solving the Invisible Wizard mystery. That was quite a head scratcher. Sure was. I was shocked that the culprit was the wizard herself. Yeah, the mysteries I solve are never what they seem. It's always a misunderstanding or accident. No one ever malice, no one's ever malicious on purpose in my mysteries. I'm so glad that crime isn't real. Didn't you get extorted earlier? Yes, I think that's a crime. I suppose that crime is real after all. Our office is called Fraud Detective Crime Solving Agency. Yes, Detective, why do you believe that crime isn't real? I was simply exaggerating. Plus, despite my job title, I'll never really be, seem to be able to solve, be solving crime. That's going to change in a moment, I think, Detective. Oh, super duper. I just got a call about a doozy of a case, Detective. That sounds exciting. It is, but it's also the most challenging case I've ever sent to you. I'm confident in your abilities, but you might need to back, back up on this one. Oh, like who? I'm going to send Lobster Clap to help you with this case. Oh, really? Lobster Clap handles such advanced cases. I won't slow him down. Nonsense, Detective. You've just shown you're a very capable mystery solver. I think you're in the running to be new number one. You're making me blush. You'll be A-OK. -okay. So where am I headed next? Can't stay over the phone, it's too sensitive. Wow. Head to the train station, I left a ticket for you there. The train will take you where you need to be. Good luck, detective. You think you can handle it? I can handle anything. Are we going to Froggywood? After the detective has left. An evil guy? Evil dude? Bum bum bum. Later at the station. I like the worm. I do like the worm driving the train. The wheels aren't turning. The detective will return in... Cowboy County. Corruption at Cowboy County. We did it. We have solved the mystery. I, 
I think we're done. No, maybe not. No, we are done. All right. Cheers. <laughs>